Hi everyone, uh, welcome to uh, Hard Knock Garage, as in the actual garage that Mr. Hard Knock, that's myself, Peter, uh, does his work. I uh, thought this might be quite cool for all the, uh, I'm not sure what they're called, patronauts, uh, perhaps. Uh, you know, the people that want to support me, a um, little bit of extra content, uh, so you can see what I do, where I do it, um, and kind of get an understanding of where I come from. So, uh, okay, what do we got? Very quick whip around. Um, so this is a, a garage in my house. Um, you know, nothing particularly special, uh, although I have kind of taken it over as opposed to, you know, putting cars and stuff in it. My main area that I work is here. With this uh, cutting mat, as you can see, there are lots and lots and lots of holes in the cutting mat um, doing drilling and stuff. So, uh, what do we got? Work area. Uh, up here, I've got a lot of, uh, I guess, the, the styrene wood um, supplies. So, this is all my kind of flat plate stuff. Um, styrene, some bits of aluminium, grill, uh, etc. Got some extra glues and bits and pieces up there. Uh, this is my sort of tubing or, or rod area, so uh, metal tubing, uh, plastic tubing, plastic uh, shapes. This is plastruct and evergreen stuff, uh, square, and then your, your flat uh, rods there. Uh, this is kind of my using tools at the moment area, um, along with a couple of three projects that are sitting in the back wings uh, for when I get onto them. This area here is always messy with me. Um, this entire bench was actually covered in stuff mostly from the Winnebago I was making. Um, so this is kind of where I just have a low, at least a low level of messiness uh, where I have my tools and bits and pieces. Uh, got some more styrene strips and rods and things up here uh, and this is my I don't know bits and pieces supplies I guess so I've um, got drill bits uh, I think I've got oh, lot, lots of different sizes of screws um, you know knife blades lots of little bits of um, sewing stuff uh, what have we got springs so that's for my off-roaders um, you know, coil springs of all sorts of types. Uh, I get lots of bits of kind of sewing stuff. Um, I always go into hardware stores and craft stores and, you know, those kind of things and just look for stuff. Um, and when I see it, I kind of know, know what it is. So I've used these for, um, for example, uh, attaching coil springs to, uh, to axles and... Uh, I drill a hole and put one of these eyelets in and then I can put a, a plastic light in it as a, like a custom car light. So all sorts of stuff like that. Oops. What's in here? Oh, just, you know, glass screws for glasses. Um, more drill bits. Lots of little screws I've got off um, AliExpress. Um, just, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Paper clips can be really helpful for making stuff. Um, more sewing things, more sewing things, more stuff. Rings. So just these are quite useful. These are plumbing rings, 20 mil washers, I think they are, and some 125th or 24 scale truck truck parts here. So I got that. Uh, tools, big tools, all right, hacksaws, uh, bolt cutters, which I do actually use on die cast from time to time, and the hammer, but pretty rarely on the hammer. Um, so we've got that. Lots of other stuff. Um, I've been doing a lot of vinyl decals. Um, I'll do some videos on, on how I do that kind of stuff as well. Um, just, what have we got? Heat shrink tubing. That's, that's quite useful for detailing motors and things. Just lots of crafty wires, bits and pieces. 
um, I've got two kinds of tools generally. My cutting and filing tools. And then the other stuff. So, you know, pliers, screwdrivers, measuring equipment, etc. Uh, use a lot of tape. Um, so I've got lots of different sizes of masking tape. On here, some double-sided tape. It's quite handy. Um, some painting masking tape. Some reflective tape. Uh, what else have we got in there? Just some coloured stuff. I did some seats on a car with some pink tape. Um, aluminium tape can be quite good for adding detail to bits and pieces. Uh, lots of wires, ribbon, bits of rope. You know, you can use that as a tow rope for an off-roader. Um, lots of little wire for, you know, engine detailing. Um, bits and pieces and lots of different kinds of pens so pens pencils i do i do a lot of you know measurements and drawing if i'm like for the winnebago example i'm you know doing measurements and bits and pieces so a lot of pencils for that uh pens i'm actually using a lot uh for the springs that are in them and the metal tips for uh, making hot rods i got some coloring pens my Molotow chrome pens, which are quite helpful for, for detailing. And then, really, just lots of offcuts um, of bits and pieces. Yeah, some more styrene. These little crystal gems um, you get from craft stores can be quite cool for making lights, um, you know, tail lights on trucks, that kind of stuff. So, uh, that's most of my tools. I've got my drill and my clamps, uh, which are quite handy. A uh, little mini fire extinguisher. A hot glue gun. I've been using this quite a lot lately for um, doing material. Um, you know, gluing stuff to seats, that kind of thing. Good old safety equipment. Um, got a whiteboard. Haven't used it quite as much um, lately, but uh, anyway, there it is. Paint. So um, I've been moving kind of away from the time you paint to the Valio um, model ear paints um, in their um, kind of brush paints. They're really good. Um, I quite like them. I do do a bit of time ear stuff, but um, I've just found these really good to work with. Uh, always have a couple of extra models I'm working on lying around. Uh, my paint booth, which is quite messy at the moment. I need to replace the filter and um, sort some stuff out, but I do my airbrushing there. Oops, I just tripped over my shop dog. This is Chica. Um, so she always likes to hang out with me in the garage. I've got two other dogs, but they're not always so keen to be out here. Hey. Right, so that's the workbench. Um, what else have we got? Well, oh, lots of sanding stuff as well. You know, uh, scratch pads, sanding, sanding pads or sanding sponges, sanding paper. Um, yep. So one thing I've picked up a lot over the years is wheels. So this is my kind of off-road wheels. I've been buying a lot of um, off-road wheels off AliExpress and uh, also RC four-wheel drive in the in the states. Um, really nice tires and and rims. If you want them, search for 1.0 tires or 1.0 rims on eBay or AliExpress um, or on the RC four-wheel drive website. 1.0 means it's a one inch rim and they're for either 118 or 124 scale RC trucks. Um, and they work really well. So one inch rim's about an 18 inch rim and one one scale. Um, so yeah, those, those are quite nice. So I've got those ones. Oh, got quite a few um, 124 scale uh, itinerary truck rims um, which will fit uh, those RC four-wheel drive 
tires um, as well as other tires so uh, they can be quite they can look quite good on 118 all right this is more off-road tires um, all sorts I, I buy a lot of um, you know kids toys like RC toys and trucks for, for wheels that's where I've got those ones from uh, these here both of these are just 118 Dodge Ram wheels and tires so you can see I've had a few and I've got lots of tires from them um, so some are Motomax this, these ones are the Motomax later generation Dodge these ones are Ertl and the Jewelies. We have got some Jewelies. Uh, these ones are off the Anson and JRL Dodge Rams. So I've got good supply of those um, when I do builds. This one is kind of streetcar wheels and tires. So uh, generally these are um, I picked these up the aftermarket uh, kind of 20 inch rims uh, I picked up a few boxes of them quite a long time ago I think you can still buy them um, kind of got off that style of wheel to be honest um, but I've got those here and I use them for various bits these are all Maisto wheels so I think that's a Bugatti Porsche it's a Jag XJ220 I've got some Corvette. I think that's off a, one of those Pontiac retro cars. Um, some old style Borago wire wheels. This is kind of the Ertl style rims. And this is kind of miscellaneous stuff. But wait, there's a bit more. So this is uh, other stuff, uh, Land Rovers, 118, mostly universal hobby Land Rovers, that's Motomax Dodge Ram parts with a few Anson bits, and those two boxes are Jeep, so 118 Maisto Jeep parts. Um, I do almost everything in 118, I have done a little bit of 116 stuff with some uh, the Highway 61 trucks, um, but otherwise, fine. I've, I've made a few uh, kits for my 124 scale kits for my brother, but otherwise, I generally stick to 118. Um, right, this might have to be part one because this is going to get really long otherwise. So this is a box of Maisto Jeeps. Um, I'm working on a kind of a rat rod thing there. Um, yeah, so I don't know, there's probably half a dozen Jeeps, or more than half a dozen Jeeps in there. So these are the project boxes, I guess. Um, this is 118 Road Legends Land Cruisers. Um, I've been buying these mostly for the chassis and sometimes for the engine. Um, that I use in my four-wheel drive car projects um, or for putting under other vehicles. Um, that's the chassis I use there. So I've got quite a few of those. Getting hard to get now. Uh, this is 118 Universal Hobbies Land Rovers. Uh, various projects in different stages. Um, bits and pieces, leftovers from previous projects, um, that kind of stuff. This is a lot of my old siren builds. Uh, didn't work so well and I haven't quite had time to throw them away, or the heart to throw them away. Things waiting to be painted. Um, I'm not really a big fan of painting, especially really nice paint jobs um, so these kind of are languishing a little bit and sometimes I kind of get enthusiastic about projects and then 
not so enthusiastic about them. So I've got those sitting here. This one I've had for quite a while. It's a 118 Dodge Ram with a chopped roof. Um, but it kind of went away from that style of build for a bit. This is all uh, Volkswagen Beetle parts. So Brago, Maisto, Road Legend, Salido. Uh, yeah. So I use, I, like, I quite like doing Volkswagen builds, so those bits are quite useful. Uh, this is just stuff, various bits of, I think that's uh, Ertl, Plymouth, Cuda and Roadrunner parts. Um, some other various bits and pieces, just lots of leftover bits really. Um, and a box of Maisto Hummers. Some I'm thinking of doing some projects with, others I've got just for parts. Where to next? Uh, oh, up here, um, got a lot of, uh, this is diorama parts, some leftover parts from Land Rover, Range Rover builds. Uh, and also where I have some of my 3D printed parts. So that's a ladder. Uh, got some winches. Some more ladders. Um, yeah. Just other other bits um, that I haven't put elsewhere, I guess. I might have shown this before and kind of glossed over it. <clears throat> These are Fence ties, so about 1.6 mils uh, in diameter. You can also use, and I've kind of run out of them, but florist wire um, as well. Really, really cool stuff um, because it bends easy. So you can put that in a piece of styrene tubing um, and bend the styrene, and the styrene will stay in shape. So I'm going to do a video on that later, but um, really quite handy stuff. Um, I also use it for roll cages, uh, usually to get an idea of what the roll cage is like, um, and then, um, you know, test out the size and stuff, and then make it out of styrene with this in the middle. Uh, what else have we got? So, yeah, lots of stuff up here. Um, this is a box of whole lot of GMP parts that I got off a guy um, which is kind of a bulk sale uh, these are some various project builds um, Land Rovers and bits some old truck builds um, got a couple of big trailers here that you can see uh, road transporter truck a uh, whole bunch of Land Rovers for future projects um, and models down there. I have been working on a bit of a diorama, um, but also needed some space, so that kind of got a bit taken over. But under here, this is a glass top desk or coffee table. Um, underneath, I'm working on a on a garage. You can see hard knot garage in the back there. Um, little decal I was working on uh, for dub works so Volkswagen builds of which you can see right there um, made a little office work um, you know office in the back it's got lighting in it and that's a Chevy Balier that I did a patina paint job um, be doing a video on that very shortly uh, got a few builds um, custom builds. I've got some at the moment in a local toy museum, so uh, those ones are away, but that's a Chevy truck I just finished up recently. A um, couple of my other builds, off-road Mustang and a 
Studebaker truck, um, sorry, Studebaker truck uh, on a Land Cruiser chassis. Um, I didn't paint that, I got it like that, um, but I thought it looked pretty cool as an off-roader. Um, just some various bits and pieces. Uh, this is a 118 car transporter trailer that I built um, quite a few years ago now, just out of uh, aluminium uh, lengths for uh, building. I'm not quite sure. I got them in a hardware store, some angle iron, and some uh, stuff used for jib or sheet, sheet rock um, plastering. Um, yeah. Quite like my Mopars, so got a bunch of Mopars over there. Um, you'll notice that the ones up the top are somewhat um, off-roady. So there's a Camaro there, the wheel's a bit busted on it. Um, off-road land, land, I call it the Land Cuda, um, a Camaro and a Mustang. And then these ones are relatively untouched. Um, one of my favourite trucks, the red Ford F250 in there. Um, and another couple of models. And then just, uh, you know, models from my collection. Uh, a lot of trucks and bits. Uh, quite a few Dodges. Um, and then more, 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 more. Um, just lots of builds. Um, we are looking to try and sell this house and get another one so I can get a bit more room um, Set up something proper these boxes here um, It's a little bit hard to kind of see what's in them. Um, I don't really want to get them all out, but that's that one that one that one that one and that one Are all pretty much 118 truck parts. So pick up trucks um, some 116 stuff up there as well um other builds, other builds in progress or, or completed. Yeah, so um, that's Hard Knock Garage. Um, hope hope you enjoyed it, uh, got something out of it. Um, if you've got questions, you want to know more about something in particular, uh, do let me know. Um, be happy to answer your questions. Got a couple of things I'm, I'm going to be working on for videos shortly. So I'm going to do a kind of a 50-50 beetle. So one side will be rusty and patinaed and the other side will be clean. Um, I've got the Schwedes Frankenbird uh, that I'm still working on. Waiting for a NASCAR chassis to come and I'm working on a few decals as well um, to go with the Schwedes uh, Pontiac. Building the uh, Winnebago, um, so quite excited about that. And this, which is a Oldsmobile Super 88, um, sitting on a Hummer H2 chassis. Um, so that's quite a cool build as well. And some other, and some others. Um, so yeah, so hard knock garage. Uh, welcome along. Thank you for supporting me. And I look forward to doing more for you in the future.